All right, everyone. It's me, Shane Lee. So, it's 6.14 p.m. Um, so, I'm going to uh, do a, a small workout to show you how to stretch. I'll use the stretch in the martial arts before I fail. Now, I won't be able to do it all 100% like I used to get did, right? But I can at least do it 50%. So, I'll set this here on the pillars here somewhere. So, I'm gonna get me my mat. So my body weight is 308.8 pounds, so I'm still going down, staying about the same. Now, once I can figure out how to do a normal, somewhat everyday routine, I might lose a little weight slowly. But again, I can't do what I used to do 100%. Ain't gotta be the fancy in here. You just can't do what you used to do. Mm -hmm. So I'm also gonna have to put on some pants because my uh, pants are a little, I mean, some shorts. I use it as my uh, suit here. Have some cut holes in it. I don't want to show you my.
things like in the Matrix and you know, move as fast as the character in. But you know how to read the trade a little bit? <laughs> but Well, you can a little, but it's not really a good way to fight. <laughs> not saying it is. Someone has to match that speed. <laughs> or sort of a waste of time there. Sure, sure. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, Donna don't know how to do it. <laughs> I just sort of mess around with it as part of my exercise routine. <laughs> That's all that is. <laughs> I ain't serious, <laughs> but I'll demonstrate it a little bit here. <sighs> now the thing is, it must be within the realm of the martial arts if you want to do it anyway. So the first thing you want to do when you're stretching up a little. Just want to go back and forth. And you want to get it in your hamstrings a little bit too. All right. You want to stretch your back. All right so. combination of kung fu movies I've seen on TV, right? Things like that. Right. Not really the point, though. You can't really use that unless you're fighting someone as fast as you are, right? You sort of gotta do it slower. Well, that means you're a hillbilly hit who's ever heard someone really sing in a choir. In school, like me, Ben. I might get in this side because I got more room. <laughs> This is your crank.
Well. It's not even open yet. And it ain't my design, it ain't yours. Looks like that's all I can do right now. I'm not going to pay you $249 for a defective product, assholes. Like I said, this is bullshit. I make almost $3,800 fucking dollars a month. Only reason I had to file bankruptcy is who? Amanda fucking Heat. Amanda fucking Heat. Bitch. Sometimes you love the wrong person, trying to give them a chance and see if they'll treat you right, but she sure as hell didn't, did she? You know? She acted like a druggy bitch, right? I didn't need no druggy bitch, but I, I was trying to trust her she wasn't. Right? See, they carry two facades, right? One's a nice and sweet facade, and then there's the druggy side, right? We don't show you the druggy side first, right? And once she's in again... She had to get arrested to get out of the house, and then she just wanted to keep my car. <laughs> she had like that. She had like that. I was even nice enough to get her a fucking rental. She tried to screw me in that too, right? Care about herself more than me, right? Like I said, like I said. She put me over a thousand dollars in debt, and I was already in debt to begin with. And trying to pay off the car and the loan. And, uh, well, again, I had to give up. I had to give up. Now, you don't want me to talk about it, Amanda, you shouldn't have done it. There are two. Because I don't make $3,800 there again, Jeremy. Right. I can't afford a $500 money or um, small credit card because they're not giving the money I need to make it through the rest of the month. I need the $300. And $53, asshole. That's what I'm talking about. You're not giving my fucking money, so I'm having to get me a little credit card to make it through the rest of the month, Jeremy. Assholes! You don't care about no one but your bottom line. You don't care about people. Only yourselves. You fuckers. Screw your mother over for a dime. Well, you know. Well, I ain't going to be happy about it. Because again, I can pay the credit card off because I'm paying down my bills now, Jeremy. I don't even have to pay you this month. That's another $165 in my pocket. And I can pick it up in February, right? I don't have a problem, Jeremy. You do. My problem was Amanda Heaton. I got rid of her. <laughs> Trust me, she's gone, so. I mean, even if I were to try to give her one more chance, she don't get one more chance with me, right? She already had enough to begin with, right? There, too. That won't even crank out like it's supposed to. Like I said, something's wrong with this shit. And I know when something's wrong with it, right? But let's see what we can do with it so far. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's not stretching out because the machine ain't doing its job. It's supposed to uh, open up to like this, right? 
Well, you embarrassed I might can do it, Cliff? I mean, only someone who knows me, Cliff John, could mess with my shit from fucking century. Like I won't find out, motherfucker. You don't know me anymore, Cliff John. I doubt you ever did. You're a bad karate kid instructor, like the bad guy. Yeah, you are. You're an asshole. You're a bad instructor. You only care about yourselves, not your students. The money they pay you. You're just out of a fucking movie. With your shit you're pulling. With me and Donna probably too. I said I hope that's hypothetical. But I did say I know you wouldn't pull that shit on me either. That's what that means. You might be a tip Dan and shoot a roof. But I'll whip your candy ass if I have to. But you gotta throw the first punch like you did at Donna. You can't sucker punch me. Like you did Donna probably. It's what you're acting like. See, that's the point, Cliff. How do you feel if you were put through the harassment I was put through myself? You wouldn't even talk to the person anymore, would you? I'm just messing with you on YouTube. How they're messing with me, asshole. And you only, you know, wouldn't even let me train with you anymore. You're a bad movie karate instructor. Yes, you are. You're out of a bad movie. Worse than Martin Cove's character in the Karate Kids. <laughs> By now. By now. I will embarrass you because this thing's supposed to work right. It's brand fucking new. Now, when someone fucks with me, I fuck back, kick, Cliff. And I'm sick of your shit. Interfering in my getting a black belt, too. Why are you afraid of it? <laughs> Because I won't use a black belt technique unless I'm a black belt or something. But that don't mean I can't use up the brown belt, motherfucker. I can still defend myself well. <laughs> with what I know. <laughs> if I have to. Man to man, though. Anyone can bring a fucking loaded gun to a karate fight. <laughs> Supposed to be a karate fight, not a gun fight. Cowards. Whole point there. If you do that, though, I'll call on Jesus, right? Whether that'll work or not for me, like it did for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, I don't care. But he's the only one I know might can help me in that situation. Hopefully, hopefully. That's what faith is, reaching out to something you can't see, scientists. Can you see the gases in the air or your breath when you breathe? No. But when it stops, you know you're what? Dead. I mean, do you have to be a rocket scientist to figure that out? No. But you act dumb as hell. No. So do the Christians, right? They ain't any better. You're all acting stupid. You're all reading what you want to read. All discovering what you want to discover. And if you discover something strange, you don't reveal that, do you? Too. Whole problem with the whole universe. We don't even know what we're doing here or how we got here. We wake up as a little baby. Uh, guy, <laughs> Then come in the world, right? Exposed to all this shit you're showing us, right? Well, we're learning it from you, motherfuckers. If some of us go back shit, I'm sure you're to blame. Whole right? point there, too, right? I'm just pissed because I can't use my machine like I want to, right? And I'm venting my anger, right? It's better to vent it and get it out mm -hmm. than hold it in when you're feeling it, right? That's still my fault. You know, I'm confessing it. I'm getting over it too, right? But I'm pissed right now. This ain't nothing that I can do with the machine. Right? Ask Antonio Lane. Hope he ain't involved with it either, but like I said. And who would have a problem with me having this, Cliff? Who could call Century and influence them to give me a fucked up machine anyway? Not me, not Jeremy, right? He's my lawyer, right? By the way, Cliff. For my bankruptcy. Cause I'm in the heat. Cause I'm in the heat. Trying to screw me over with a fucking Corolla. And then I had to pay off fucking. Uh, what is it? Enterprise. Over a thousand fucking dollars. <laughs> that's why I had to go on disability. On um, bankruptcy. Right? 
Now, again, am I embarrassing you enough, Cliff, now that you'll leave me alone? Because I have to, don't I? You're one of those instructors, like in the fucking Karate Kid, who bully your own students. I remember you trying to prove to me I wasn't strong enough one time, right? When we were riding in your van and you were in the back seat with us. And telling me to do more push-ups. Well, that's a bully, right? You're not supposed to be like a bully to your students either. either. Just tell me to do more push-ups. You know what I mean? You're not supposed to physically try and prove I'm weaker than you or something. Because you are older and do more push-ups or something. Whatever, whatever. I'm still a young boy growing in my into my uh, prime, so to speak, right? And, uh, and I looked all right. I looked all right. Not trying to be Bruce Lee or anything, but I looked all right. I looked all right. I'm going to sit here for a few minutes because it's hard to get up and get down <laughs> for a disabled veteran, right? Who fell three fucking stories, Cliff? You have no respect for that, do you, either, either? You don't know why that would drive someone crazy, even to survive it, even to survive it. Would make you paranoid, right? Being on a ship with some motherfucker who got electrocuted, but never wanted to talk with you about it, but expected you to work as if you knew what you were doing, and you don't know he's fucking with you? Yeah, you know he's fucking with you. Especially if he was electrocuted with 450 volts himself, but not showing you what to do properly, and you know it. Enough that, okay, what am I supposed to do here? What am I supposed to do here? But when you put me in the head, I cleaned the head. When you put me in the thing, thing down in the hole, I didn't want to paint the fucking thing anyway. Thank you, thank you. Did I? Did I? <laughs> but when they put me on the side of the ship painting the ship, I did the shit out of that, right? Why? Because, again, that's a job I can do. I can't be an electrician if my mates aren't teaching me the ropes. And you did not. And you did not. I'm not saying it didn't do your job, but you did not train me, which is also part of your job. As far as your work on the ship. I don't know what you did, but I was trying to do my job. Even if it consisted of going to the breaker room or stuff like that after I at least inspected the equipment, right? To make sure I didn't see anything wrong with it, right? Now, that's just a visual inspection. Yeah, yeah. But it's safer if you're signing my cards illegally. <laughs> Yourself. You're supposed to make sure they're hanging first. And I'm testing you to see if you're trying to electrocute me or not. Right. By letting me hang them by myself. I didn't know that, King. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Whole point. So this is a bus for now. So again, one good thing, <laughs> forgot about that. Well, that's enough of that. Mm -hmm. Well, you must be easily embarrassing, but well, that's a problem with your crying. Mm -hmm.
That's the point, too. So, It's easy to embarrass an asshole for this. Who takes you seriously when you're supposed to be joking around and have a sense of humor? And, uh, if you don't have a sense of humor and you're a martial artist, you're in the wrong line of work. <laughs> That's what I think. Mm -hmm. And you're supposed to teach them self-defense first. Right? Not be the bully. Right? Mm -hmm. We don't need any more bullies in our life, Cliff. Mm -hmm. We already have them. Right? Or they wouldn't we'll be taking karate with you.
I don't want to study with you anymore. And, uh, now that I know your attitude towards your students, I think I never should have. Uh, think I won't give up. You, know? you think you can stop me from giving up. Whatever the hell you're doing to me ain't working. You don't get it, do you? I know you're still doing it or I won't be this paranoid anymore. Assholes. You just know it ain't working for you. If you're embarrassed by a student, why do you think I would embarrass you, Cliff? Whole problem there, too.
I want the buzz that. You're tempting the Lord somehow. I don't even know how. But clearly you are. Not me. Now I gotta call him. So I don't still have the piece of paper. Now, you remember though, right? I made several phone calls to Trinity of the Century today. Well, look now, on my um, thing here. The numbers are 1339 274 4424. One nine one two nine six three nine nine three one one eight four four five five four zero four zero one one nine one two eight I don't know that one all right there it is well it wouldn't go down like that. I'll try and mm -hmm. there it is. For some reason, it wouldn't get past the screen. Uh, I was doing the scroll thing. Right? It ain't your business anymore. I'm old enough to learn on my own. If you won't teach me, I'll learn on my own, black belt or not. I don't need your health clip, Fion, if you don't help me. I'll do it by myself. Because I'm a man child. I don't know what you are. They ain't got rid of me yet, Century. You want to try next? You want to try next? <laughs> I don't care if you are or not. So am I. So am I. We are all martial artists, but we either respect each other, we're trying to beat each other, each other to a pulp, or even murder each other. That's not karate. That's Thank not the martial arts way. And we're not supposed to beat each other up like an MMA. Hi, good evening, Samantha. How are you? Doing good. How about yourself? Well, I'm not doing too well because I ordered your Versa Flex. And I was putting it all together and I was trying to use it. But the uh, the pull crank in the middle will only go out so far. Am I doing something wrong with it? What, what, what are you? Okay, so you can't place it together? No, I put it together, but it's not working right. I 
I didn't send it. I didn't, well, I sent it to Ian Willer because that was the last person I was talking to. But I can send you the same pictures. Yes, please, because I mean, it would be a lot easier if I could see it and see what I can help you with. All right. The problem is that I'll, I'll tell you very simply if you listen, please. Um, the problem is I got the VersaFlex. It's supposed to be a stretcher machine, and um, I put it all together. And I tried to do the crank for it, and it won't crank out. It only cranks out, but like at a maybe 35 degree angle. It's supposed to be able to go all the way out to at least 180. So that's the problem right now. So. I, I've already did the pictures and I did a small video, so it won't work. I can send all that to you. What's your address? I know you. It's your first, is it your first name or? Uh, it's going to be S, as in Sam. Mm -hmm. And as in Nancy. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be at Union. Right. And as in Nancy. Mm -hmm. E as in Edward. Mm -hmm. E as in Zebra. Mm -hmm. At CenturyMartialArts.com. Okay, Samantha. I think I talked to you yesterday about. Yes. Thank you for your help. Yes, and then where, um, um, what did I say? I'm still thinking the Versaflex. Um, you said Versaflex or the Versus. The Versaflex, the stretchy machine. The uh, one okay. that stretches your legs. So you yes. can just flip. So, um, point to where it actually. I can't do that. I don't know how to do all that. But um, I, I, I can send you a small video, and ma'am. I can send you a small video to show what's wrong. Thank you. All right, you have a good evening. Bye-bye. You're trying to tell him I'm in ya. Maybe you hit the wrong button. Maybe you hit the wrong button. Aren't you? Because you don't want to get in trouble, do you? You're an asshole for that. That's the point. You won't accept that you make mistakes like all human beings, Cliff. You're not God. You're not Jesus. You're an asshole. And whoever put it in your mind, you're Jesus or God, lied to you. Bad.
it's hard to accept your own mistakes when everybody's trying to make you make them. And you're trying not to, don't you think? When someone starts trying to talk you into shit, you don't normally do anyway. After a severe head trauma there again, Mark. Now I'm supposed to do the light, right? Is that was the problem. Like I said, well, room. they know where it started. So do I. So whoever had the biggest problem with me, it started then. What I'm asking them, what do I do? I get mad because you're supposed to send an instruction booklet, not just a manual to put it together. You know what I mean, Sam Train Train? You can't send me half the information. No one can do half the job, right? With half the information. You get hurt that way. You don't know what to do with it. If there's some kind of release switch, well, it's got to be able to release to where I'm stretching it out, not in. You know what I mean? I was supposed to be designing these machines, so we can stretch them. That's the point. Giving someone half the information, don't tell them how to actually use the machine, just put it together. Right? Well, that's what I mean. Right? It's like we've been trying to make me work alone, just give me the work card. Or King 2, or a lot there too, or anyone in the division. You can't give me half the information and expect me to know what I'm doing. That makes me think you're trying to electrocute me, blaming me for what happened to King. Because the key, you understand? Not me. Not that you asked me did I do it ever, did you? Because he told you I would say no. Well, yeah, I would say no if I didn't do it. <laughs> but there would be an explanation behind it, King, as to how I know I didn't do it. You know what I mean? That's what you fear, asshole. The explanation as to how you were electrocuted. Your own damn self touching the bus. When it wasn't off yet. 
I didn't turn it on or off. I'm not supposed to touch it. Keep telling me that. Lieutenant Guzman told me not to touch a goddamn thing the whole month. Not just then, motherfucker. The whole fucking month. I don't know if he did the same thing with you when you got the ship or pushed you to work right away, but he didn't mean he didn't. So you're saying he did me different or something? Or you were trained differently? You couldn't have been on the ship yourself more than a year. And yet it's odd that you were still on there afterwards. That's the point. I'm not really blaming Century for what happened. Right? I'm trying to explain why I'm mad right? to Century. Right? Again. Now you want to fight me one on one, I might kick your monkey ass. Right? That's what I'm talking about. But sure, an army can beat me <laughs> if what? They attack me all at once. But that don't mean I'll die. Did Jesus die? You don't know. Well, you're right, but who has a harder time believing in things like that anyway, men or women? Now, all we know is he appeared to 501 people, including the Apostle Paul. That's all we know. That's all we know. But maybe that's all he could appear to. You're right, scientists. Seeing is believing, but to believe you got to see. And here. If you don't want to see him, you can't. Even if he were standing right next to you. But Satan is here too. You can't see him either. either. See, according to the scriptures, we know something happened to where they both disappeared from history. And I'm assuming Satan tried to commit suicide and Jesus either wandered the earth forever <laughs> or went into heaven or something. I don't know. But only he could go back into heaven, not Satan, I guess. Now, he would have to become a baby, though, to come in through Mary's womb. You know that, right? And since he, she couldn't see him, could he do that? Sure, sure. That's what you don't understand about the Messiah, Israel. To be born of a woman, you have to become an embryo. As small as a grain of sand. But if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, which is about the size of an embryo, right? That's what you're supposed to have. So anyway... And I already knew it would be a problem century. Can't have knobs preventing the legs from opening up all the way. <laughs> really, really. I don't know that. I don't have to be a rocket scientist to know that. All I have to do is be a high school graduate. Right. problem. It ain't up to you to do your student this way. At all. At all. <laughs> and I even broke a board for the first time without no one training me based a little bit on what I knew and didn't know. <laughs> you challenged me. Someone did. Someone did. And I did it. <laughs> I just blocked out the pain, did the punch. It broke. I punched through it like Mr. Miyagi told Daniel Sang. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> Having no training in it either. <laughs> Took me two times because I had to steal my mind too. <laughs> Never did it before. Never did it before. But the second try, I got it. <laughs> not to brag. Not to brag. Either. either. Just finally did it. Just finally did it. <laughs> Cause you're disabled with back pain. At all. Any of you know how I feel. Or even care if I were to tell you. Cause someone's telling you I'm a pedophile and you believe in that shit. Why do you, you think I'm fighting you on it? 
If you believe someone you don't even know, you never even met, sleeping alone on the couch can do anything beyond sleep on the couch, you're crazy. You're crazy. And if you think I did, how did the child get in there to me when she went to sleep with her mother? You're talking a conspiracy there. I'm trying to clear her name if I can, right? But she's the only one who could have sent her in there to me, and y'all know that. Y'all all know that. So if someone's contacting you, it ain't me. <laughs> they could do it in my name, by my address, shit like that. Sure, sure. But it's not me. They're trying to piss you off about it. <laughs> Whether I did it or not, you know that, right? <laughs> but you're not succeeding. You're not succeeding. You're not stopping me, in other words. You're trying to, but not quite getting it. Don't know what you're doing to me either, but I survived more than I know, right? Up to now, too. I'm 48 years old. <laughs> if I don't look like it, it ain't good living. I live like everyone else, right? Yes, who? <laughs> the one you can't see or don't want to see anymore and probably never did. <laughs> Jews and Gentiles pretending you're following him one way or the other. Using him as a propaganda because the story sells. <laughs> You know, one man trying to die for the sins of the world. We all know that. We all know that. But then you get the message confused because you don't read the whole Bible. You read what you want to read. That's editing too. <laughs> when you do that. <laughs> right? <laughs> well, see, like I said, you also got to send not only a manual to put it together, but how to use it properly because we don't know that. It's a machine, right? like any machine you know? yeah I can put it together but where's the how to use it how to use it <laughs> manual, manual. <laughs> whole point about King giving me the card but not the book right I knew I was supposed to go with both right and I was just testing him to see if he'll let me go along or give me the book too right and then I knew he was out to get me you know what I mean <laughs> obvious there right right when you're Using the book, right? You know exactly what to do. But without the book, you only have half the information about how to do the job anyway. Why do you think Lieutenant Gizmo was so pissed off about him with the logic circuits? He knew King wasn't training me right. Or he only gave me the card. Well, the card can't teach him. And he probably got on his ass. And he probably told him, no, I didn't electrocute him several times. But then he imagined some kind of liaison between me and him, too, probably. Have you contacted Lieutenant Guzman yet, Navy and VA? You have to, legally. I'm naming him as a witness in this investigation. Either investigate it or don't. Well, I can't do anything but mention him in one of my letters to the VA. <laughs> and I don't know exactly what you want me to tell you, either. See, either you're listening to me or you're not. Or you're trying to stack it up to craziness on my part. Well, if you're driven crazy, but we're saying before you got there, when did it happen on the ship? On the ship. <laughs> That's work related, right? Right? <laughs> That's why I service connected, right? It's like being driven crazy by the guys on the ship because they won't work with you, right? And you know they're not working with you, right? Oh, they school. You at least know that. You at least know that. Huh? Well, see, they got to show me which books to use and where to use, where it's at in the book. <laughs> I mean, you know by flipping through about 30 or 40 books up there, which one to use automatically? No, you don't. <laughs> They're supposed to tell you that, stupid. Because there's more than one book. <laughs> Dealing with more than one electrical problem, too. Right. There's got to be. There's got to be. So if they're only sending me out with a car, what does that mean, maybe? That's half the job. That's half of what I need to know. That shows me how to work on it, but not what I'm working on, right? Right. I bet in the book it illustrates what it looks like, right? So why do you think Lieutenant got, could, this one got pissed off with King? Yeah, even if King was to bring it up then, the only one he convinced were the enlisted, enlisted guys. Well, I'm not an officer. But Lieutenant Guzman knew what was going on, but he had to show... I couldn't do the job somehow, so he gave me a low E by himself, right? Not because I wasn't trying, but why? I couldn't be an electrician with him on there, on the ship with me. And Lieutenant Guzman was gone within 
uh, six months to a year or so, too, and then we got a new incident, right? Well, guess who he convinced first? Him, probably. Him, probably. See, once you get someone in your pocket, right, and you're working against someone behind their back, too, because I'm not even aware this is going on. I'm guessing all this now, like I keep telling you, hypotheticals work that way. Now, even I can guess wrong, but I admit when I'm wrong, if you show me I'm wrong, too, right? I don't have a problem being wrong, but do you have a problem where you have to be right all the time, even if you're wrong, right? That's a lie, too. Right? See, another problem is men want to be right even when they're wrong, so do women. So do women. <laughs> it's not like it's not both, right? It's us all. It's us all. That's a problem. That's a problem. When you're doing that. Well, I'm about to around 8 to lay down. To lay down. It's 7.24 p.m. now, right? You know what I mean. But anyway, mm -hmm. it's not my medication doing this to me. My medications can't help me if I was driven crazy anyway. <laughs> if you're driven to hear voices, well, you don't even know what's causing them at this point, right? You just know you're hearing them and trying to admit what you're hearing. Right? All I'm doing, all I'm doing. And what it's showing you in the Bible and things like that too, right? It's in the Bible. You're just not looking on it. <laughs> Right, Peter, right, James, right, John, right, Beast, Roman side of it. <laughs> and you're still at war with each other. <laughs> you still ain't made peace. And I can't help you if I know what you're both doing wrong, but you still do the wrong, right? You both have to come to the table together, Peter, like Martin Luther said. All the children at the table together as one. <laughs> assholes it's not about the size of the army Peter it's about fighting the battle you have to fight it alone like Jesus did coward I know you're a fisherman sure you're not a soldier right but you gotta learn to fight the best you can and then let Jesus help you when you can't like I try to do right I know my limitations I know my strengths and my weaknesses and I have to admit them to a point, especially if I fell off three stories. <laughs> or I was in a car accident trying to figure out what happened at both of them now. Right? And I have to alone. I can't really involve my mom. They can hurt her. I can't really involve uh, Roddy anymore. He supposedly died of a drug overdose. So did Mark, right? Of a brain tumor. He had epilepsy when we were younger. Now, like I said, I don't know if he's Molly or not. He's not supposed to be, though, even in there. He's supposed to be dead. He's not supposed to assume a transgender form and act like that's what killed him. No, he can't do that. Nor is he supposed to have sex with his ex-stepbrother if he does that either. That would be insane. All right. Hypothetically there. That would mean you're always after me. And that's not good, brother. You're still my brother, even if you're trying to make yourself a woman. I understand why, maybe. But it's not my fault. Again, sorry that happened to you. Again. Sorry how it made you feel. Again. But that's not on me. I can't control what you do. Only what I do. I'm not even mad at you if you did it. Mm -hmm. Though I don't know you did it. <laughs> right. Unless you tell me, right? I don't know you did it. I don't know. But I won't be with Molly again because she had the bat shit. <laughs> Sorry, Molly. Well, you would have to have a good reason as to why you quit being my friend at all if we had sex. <laughs> Stupid. And like I said, why did I buy the spermicide? You told me while you got when you got there, you're on your period, right? Right. Well, that means within a week or so, if my sperm lasts seven days three to seven days or eight days in your vagina and you're a female, you can get pregnant, stupid. <laughs> That's why I'm trying to make sure you didn't by buying the spermicide if you wanted more sex or something. Because you're not Stephanie. <laughs> you're a little strange, right? Having hair on your face like that wouldn't bother me when it did. When it did. <laughs> a little bit, mind you. I tried not to say anything about it. Sure, sure. 
Because I don't judge you because you have a few hairs on your face because of the comedian Eddie Murphy talking about goody goos. <laughs> that's why I too, that's why I too. But again, you can't be a real transgender person and me want to date you anymore either. I'm not looking for that. So you're again, no I know everything about y'all. But again, you're still not hearing what I was saying that I want a real woman because I want real babies, right? Whole point there too, right? See, you're not hearing me, you're hearing something else in your own head, right? That's making you think I wanted you when I was trying to be your friend, mainly, period, right? You were the one wanting to be friends with benefits, not me, not me. I was trying to keep it platonic. Whole time, whole time. And I touched your vagina once and you're climbing on me and <laughs> you wanted the sex. And I'm making love to Mary Bell 30 minutes of pop. And she wanted the sex. Right. <laughs> to an hour sometimes? To an hour sometimes. <laughs> not my job to convince you if I did it or not. Ask Mary Bell. <laughs> Only she can tell the truth in that shit, too. Right. Though I think I remember being with her that long. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong, Mary Bell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you tell me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, that's enough for tonight. Bye-bye.